Hello friends, now I am going to teach about ASP.NET Defining Website Layout using CSS Part 3. In this session, we will discuss about uh, uh, creating a footer and uh, linking to another pages and uh, and dragging a text box and button as a search. Previously we have saw and as a how to create a header and a slider importing the slider and placing the content okay let's uh, start as a footer tag so we have to give the footer below the content placeholder we have created the header above the content placeholder the content should be coming under the content placeholder so just we are going to create a footer as under below the content tag so just I'm going to create a div tag class uh, naming the class as a footer footer and just going to create the class uh, CSS class in the master CSS so just I am identifying this as a footer so just creating the class footer which should be a, the width is should be a hundred percent and the height should be a hundred pixel and the background color should be a three gray dark gray okay then if I am run this project going and refreshing the project means I will get the footer below the content so I have not get so just I am giving the height 100 pixel width footer the F is not so just giving footer as a f caps letter and run this project so after running I get this one in this I am just uh, calling the menus uh, which uh, I have given in top to the website and drawing one two horizontal lines and uh, logo should be come under this one so just I am creating one div under the div I am going to call the ul just I am copying the headers menu and pasting into this one and just calling the class as footer footer div okay under the footer div I'm just creating the CSS in master CSS just to paste this one and going to create this one has text align should be in center and in under the footer view I have created the another list and the list items so just I'm um, pasting this in another list should be margin 0 pixel and padding should be 0 pixel in another list I have created the list items UL and ULI ALI it should be display as a inline block and the width should be 50 pixel of the list items and and in the rest I have the footer div another list in another list there is a list in the list I have created the anchor tag so just I'm going to create that Anchor tag should be font size should be 14 pixel 
and font family should be Calibri and uh, the font color should be white and text decoration as a uh, anchor tag it has a default uh, text decoration as underline so just now remove the text decoration underline to be none okay then when over the link I should get different colors so just I'm creating over anchor over when hovering the font color should be changed into light gray or something different so just I'm calling as F90 for it, it is a orange color okay let's see how it is coming so just I am going to refresh the page after refreshing this page I got it has yeah home about products services contact yeah and below the menus I am going to create one two horizontal lines which should be like below the now list I'm going to create a HR1 HR it is it means that horizontal line and one more HR line I'm naming this and calling the class CSS class as footer HR1 and the second one is going to call the class CSS class as footer horizontal line 2 and just creating the class CSS class as uh, in my master CSS as uh, footer hr1 which is the margin should be 0 pixel and the background background should be the first horizontal and giving the background has black and the height should be one pixel of the horizontal line <coughs> and creating the footer horizontal line two horizontal hr2 and same thing I am going to give in horizontal 2 also just copying and pasting this one and ch only changing the background color of this one has uh, 5f 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 okay after running after giving the CSS classes I am just giving the break line to the horizontal line after giving this I'm just refreshing the web page refreshing I have get the horizontal line but it is not looking so just I'm removing the borders which are it appears so just remove the background border border none okay in this also just I'm removing the border okay after giving this I'm running yeah I have got this one if you look closely means you can see this one after giving this one I'm just creating the logo should be in centralized so just I'm calling H1 in H1 just I'm smarty giving the smarty logo and giving the CSS styles creating the CSS slides for my logo in footer footer div not the footer div I have created the H1 tag so just I'm creating font 
family should be a Edwardian script ITC and font size should be a 30 pixel okay and font color should be white after creating the font logo I am just refreshing this page and after refreshing the page I have got this one but the height which I have mentioned it is so so just I am increasing the height of uh, my footer I have say 150 pixel after giving one pixel 150 pixel I'm refreshing this after refreshing I have got this one so just I am Great. So just I am removing the border margin of a head one. So just the margin should be a zero pixel. The browser has taken the default margin as 10 on 10. So just I removed this one and increasing the font size should be a 50 pixel. If I am giving 50 pixel, let's see how it is looking. After this one, yeah. I got this one. Portal is now ready. So, and you can import this as a powered by and designed by. You can give here or below the logo. Okay. Then we will see how to create a text to boxes and search button in next tutorial. Hope you enjoyed. That's it for today.